it's beautiful and it's looking really great, but it's starting to hit the shingles of the house and that's just not the look I'm going for. I want it to look a little more manicured. Um, so I want to show you guys today how I'm going to go about trimming it. About six months ago, I installed some brand new window boxes upstairs underneath my windows and then we of course planted them with English ivy and pansies for the winter time and the English ivy is getting really long and leggy and it's, it's beautiful and it's looking really great, but it's starting to hit the shingles of the house and that's just not the look I'm going for. I want it to look a little more manicured. Um, so I want to show you guys today how I'm going to go about trimming it. Of course, I have to lean out my window to do it. I could get on an extension ladder, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to lean out the window and clip it. It's really easy, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. All right, we're upstairs inside the house. Instead of leaning out the window, I did a little more of a safe thing and pulled all the ivy in toward me so that I can give it a good trim. Um, the amount that it grew over that six month period of time was pretty much all winter growth, which is, we've had a mild winter, but still it grew quite a bit. Um, but I wanna make sure I'm giving it a pretty good trim this time because summer is gonna make it grow even faster than it did before. So um, I'm probably gonna cut about 12 or 18 inches off of it. Basically it's, you know, right here. So then it, when it falls off, it'll be, I'm hoping it'll be about even with the um, bottom of the box. Um, so the way that you do it is super, super simple. You can see that it's starting to um, even <clears throat> get new little growth off of the little nodes as it is. But basically all you do is you go in and you'll see um, that there's these little nodes on the underside and that's where that new root growth and where they're gonna cling to the wall and cling to different surfaces. So you wanna go just above one of those nodes where there's uh, leaf growth and clip right there and then you've got this big piece. So we can actually probably propagate several new plants out of this one long piece. So when we're all done, we're gonna have a ton of them. So just keep working around on each one, clipping right above the leaf until you're finished. It's that simple, guys. And again, we're gonna gather all these up and make a ton of new free plants that we can plant somewhere else. Thank you.